Okay, this is an invalid test. Sorry, zombie. I'm gonna have to kill you. <laughs> Hello YouTube, this is Darth Vader, and welcome to another one of my mod reviews. For this video, I will be reviewing the Tux Weapons mod. This mod adds a new set of weapons, and I will show you what each one of these weapons do, but first, let's start with this, the crossbow. To craft this, you need wood, iron, and string. This fires bolts which in my opinion are quite expensive. And poison bolts. So, now it's done. To utilize this, first you must select the bolt. Right click on it, and fire. And as you can see, this one fires very quickly. So now let's test out dragon the bolt. And fully charged. Should take no more than two hits to kill a zombie. Or three. In Minecraft World 6.4, there appears to be a strange glitch. Mobs are usually, are usually strong, but. You get a point. This weapon has around 100 durability, which is one third of what the, arrow, the normal bow does. Has around 385. This one, you can see, wears down very quickly. So now let's test out the poison bolt. Which doesn't seem to be very effective. So now, Let's test out dynamite. To craft this, you need sand, gunpowder, and string. Those are on half the damage of TNT, as you will see. Let's put it out in a safe place. Here. This is a crater created by TNT. And now you will see the effect of dynamite. creates a smaller crater, around the size of a creeper crater, but it is very easy to craft. So our next item is the fire charge cannon. This item is very powerful, but, and to demonstrate the power, I'll test that out against a horde of mobs. As you can see, this weapon kills anything with one hit, and if charged for long enough, it'll create fire. Let's wait a little more. And now, this is what I call forest fire. Looks like we have to go on to another area just to test out more mobs, since this is a very destructive mob. Let's get out of here before we die. So our next item is the MP grenade. What it does, it can activate multiple TNT signals or multiple red signals at once. If placed at the correct place. But occasionally it can actually activate multiple signals. Now it does. But, at the same time, it also leaves a particle effect, which can just be used to fool friends, or troll friends, or, or anything of that sort. Now, our next item is the Battle Box. What this item does, it does more damage against mobs. The Golden Axe takes around 3 hits to kill a zombie. 
and has 16 durability swords. Very, very <sighs> useless. The wooden axe has 29 uses, but has around the same damage as gold. Perhaps a little more. The stone axe takes two hits. So this is where weapons get pop. And a 65 durability. The iron axe also kills mobs in two hits. And has 125 durability. And the diamond axe. Kills most mobs with two hits. It has 780 durability. So durability is less than that of diamond swords, but I'll test it out. It takes around four hits with a diamond sword, but it does have more durability, but has a weaker attack strength. The next item is the hammer. What this item does is smashes the ground around you. Let's test out the hammers. Okay, this is an invalid test. Sorry, zombie. I'm gonna have to kill you. Alright. The golden hammer has 22 durability. It has a rather weak melee attack. And whenever you charge the hammer, it wears it out even more. Let's test that out again. As you can see, it took off 6 damage points with the full charge. Actually, with any charge. The wooden hammer. It has 41 durability. It also has a weak melee attack. And its smash attack wears it down very quickly as well. The stone hammer has 91 durability. Its melee attack is comparable to that of a sword. Smash attack. Now we've started to notice the difference. But, as always, it wears it down. The iron hammer. It takes only around 4 hits to kill a zombie. Let's see how many it takes to try to attack. It takes 8 hits to kill a zombie with a smash attack with the iron armor. Us. Now I'm on fire. Not anymore. So, another diamond hammer. Yes, 1092 durability. It has a considerably stronger melee attack. Four hits. A smash attack. With this, you do notice a difference. And it lasts you a long time. And the smash attack is also stronger. We'll only six hits. Now let's move on to the next weapon. Now our next weapon, or our next tool, is a grappling hook. What this does, transfers you from place to place. The gold grappling hook has very low durability. To utilize the grappling hooks, charge, jump, 
Restfolge basically do. It only has a single use. The wooden one has around two uses. Or one. And now, the stone one. Two uses. The iron one. It has a more notable durability. Let's see if we can get up there. Whoa! I almost died back there. The problem with these grappling hooks is you take a lot of fall damage. Let's see if I can heal myself quickly. Well, this is taking an awfully long time, so I will get up there now. But as you can see, you take fall damage. The diamond one, this is rather self explanatory. It lasts a lot longer than the other ones. Let's, let's, take, let's take a quick use. Alright. So diamond one has 312 uses. The grappling cook? 6 10 uses for every fully charged use. So I can say that this has around 30 uses. So now let's move on to the next two. And our next item are the knives. To craft it, the, the material and a stick. The golden knives. The problem with these weapons are they tend to bounce back. So what I would do is I'd move to the side. Yep, they're a suicidal weapon. The good news is my spawn point is right at my showcase area, so But as always, the golden tools are very bad usage. Let's just finish them off. <laughs> Took almost the entire stack to kill him. Now, the stone. So, now, the stone now. It also has low damage. As you can see, it's half a stack to kill his arm. This is going to be one long mod review. So now the wooden one. This one takes. And to be sure, these mobs have the same. The baby zombies have the same health as the adult zombies, so this will not be an advantage. Yeah. These do less damage than the strong ones, but the same as the gold ones. And it is taking a long time to kill the zombies. So it is taking a long time to kill the zombies, as I said. I would not really recommend you to make these. So now, the iron knife. All these guys do have a fast attack, but they have low damage. Diamond knife. This, in my opinion, is the only knife worth making. But, in general, this weapon is not worth making. Since you are setting up yourself for death, I died already once making this video. So, the next weapon is the mace. The gold mace. 
has swing to durability. It only does random damage, which varies from damage that is either worse than the sword or better than the axe. And the battle needs to be more specific. So it takes an average of 6 hits to kill a zombie with a golden mace. With a wooden mace. 6 hits as well. Stone mace. 4 hits. So you can see. The durability now increases. The iron base. Three hits. And 175 durability. Diamond base. Three hits as well. Our next weapon is the spear. The golden spear has 25 uses. As you can see, a particle effect just came out, so this, not a, this weapon is rather buggy. Do not attack in rapid succession or else your game will crash. And this is what happens if you use the weapon in rapid succession. So, ladies and gentlemen, never, I repeat, never craft the spear. Our next weapon. It's the shield. What do shields do? They absorb all damage. The golden one only has 3 durability. The wooden one has 4 durability. Stone. As you can see, it lasts longer. The iron one, it has more blue. The diamond one, it's the only one worth crafting actually, due to the low durability of these weapons. So you can see, this is the blue before it gets slaughtered by the zombie. Sword while you're running. And I believe that is all we had to cover for this mod. I apologize if this was a awfully long mod review, but hopefully it will be edited into a shorter video. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you have not. Watch more of the mod views and help this channel grow. So I'll see you in the next review. Goodbye.